Gondoltál már arra, hogy milyen jó lenne, ha a hobbid lehetne a munkád? Hogyan csinálhat valaki vállalkozást mondjuk a cosplay készítésből? Milyen elkötelezettségekkel jár ez, és milyen személyiség pasztul egy ilyen kihíváshoz? Ezekről is beszélgettünk tavaszi mondókonos vendégünkkel, szeme cosplay-jel. Nézd meg interjunkat, ha kíváncsi vagy a részletekre. Oké, okay, um, you were also judging at our cosplay competition. Yes. How was it? It was super exciting. Um, there were a lot of contestants and we saw so great uh, costumes. So outstanding and skill. We were a bit speechless to see them. And it was also cool to see them uh, move around on stage. Just out of curiosity, if there would be anything that you would recommend our cosplayers to improve, to make them sound to improve? Better, mm-hmm, to better mm. what would be it? For the costumes, I think everything solid they are so great skill sets and material use is also amazing um i would love to see more action on stage actually um but uh, some of them made uh more like a catwalk action on stage which is absolutely fine but i would love to see more like fighting scenes with their swords and more um running around from one end of the stage to the other and i think there's some room to um test some new ways and to improve a bit and uh, make more action in the skits. That mm-hmm. would be so cool. And Because the acting was mm-hmm. amazing. That's an important point. There was a lot of great acting. Nice to hear that. Mm. And um, um, you're also doing commissions Yes. Uh, in your free, not free time, really. Not it's free time. G- job. It's, it's my full-time job. job, actually, yes. yeah. How it can happen? Oh, okay. Long story short, uh, I was um, in a leading position for many years in uh, retail. I made a lot of overtime shifts and so, and I was very unhappy in this company. So I left in the end and I was like, okay, uh, what could I do next? And from time to time, I made some uh, small commission orders in my free time, actually. And I really enjoyed that. And then I was like, okay, Actually, I was joking to my friend about, uh, haha, I could just do it full time. Uh, I would never like to do that. And she was like, uh, yeah, but you could. And I was like, oh, yeah, I could do that. And then I founded my company just like that, actually. So I uh, left my old job, founded my company five years ago. And I thought it will stay a smaller company and I can take it a bit calmer and that would be fine for me but actually now I have a team of uh, 10 people wow yeah so it was a bit thriving and I was like okay if it's thriving I will go with the flow and I really enjoy it so at the beginning I wasn't that sure about it but by now I really made my uh, passion my uh, full-time living job and I'm so happy about that that's amazing Mm. we also have customers worldwide not only in Germany yeah most of them are worldwide that's so cool frequently you need to do these costumes or how is there a limit so let's say that in one month I can only take two orders or something like that as a thing is with such a team we are uh, we have a lot of hands right and a lot of working hours who can work on all the costumes and I have a kind of specialist trained in uh, specific um, areas so uh, actually a friend of mine <laughs> uh, learned for me uh, how to draw blueprints on computer mm-hmm. and so uh, if we get a new order I'm just like oh, okay we have this these th- uh, three upcoming weapon projects so please make the blueprint for me then we get it back and I'm mostly um, in the crafting area in my workshop and I uh, yeah I lead the crafting area I don't sue anymore actually I have a sue stress for that and uh, that's why we can make a lot of costumes in a short mm-hmm. amount of time mm-hmm. because we have such a huge team mm-hmm. actually that's, that's so cool that's everyone so has cool. a spef- spef- specific area <laughs> so excited I just stumbled upon but <laughs> <No, laughs> okay. I'm very happy yeah <laughs> and how people can uh, find you I mean it's uh, they are recommending uh, this service to each other uh, some find us via Instagram or social media uh, also a lot of recommendations somehow a bit surprisingly um, and uh, some do find us via Google we don't have an optimized homepage but they still see our website I'm happy mm-hmm. about that and uh, yeah that's that's most of them I guess yeah 
And the, the other part that it's a little bit hard for me to imagine, but you def yes. definitely know the answer. But if I'm ordering a cosplay, how you can make sure that it will fit for me? Or it, I need to take care of that part myself? You have to take care of the measurements because we don't um, be like, okay, you're wearing normally a uh, size uh, medium or so. And we're not uh, like making the costume in the medium size. We actually created... It took months. Our own detailed um, measurement yeah. size charts, uh -huh. and they are pretty detailed. They are so accurate. I'm a bit proud of it. <laughs> and if someone would like to uh, start it as a business as you mm. uh, today, what would you recommend them? That how should they start it? Oh, that's a hard question because being self-employed is always kind of a hard struggle. I can't. I can't romanticize it because you have to work so much. Mm -hmm. I had no uh, free time and no holidays for years. Uh, now I have, <laughs> but for the first years uh, since I have found it uh, five years ago and for the first three years or so, I just worked through and sometimes I had to work for 100 hours a week. And uh, so it's pretty tough. So my recommendation, uh, I think, would be you have to think it through very carefully mm -hmm. if you're the kind of person who can be self-employed because it's not just uh, cosplay and fun. Of course, that's that's the work we make actually, but you have to organize a lot and it's not that different from being self-employed with being uh, anything else actually, with being self-employed with uh, being an accountant or whatever. So you have to make sure you're the kind of person for that. And... Um, then uh, my main pro tip, very important, is to uh, you have to decide your price mm -hmm. and never underprice yourself because uh, only if 49 people are saying you're too expensive, there's one person who will pay it. And uh, has it happened any time that someone maybe ordered a costume for mm -hmm. you that, that in the end they used for a competition? Can it occur? I'm glad I wouldn't know. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> I, I would never know it. Um, of course, it can happen that they say, oh, yeah, I made everything myself because we also send them a work in progress for this, ah, right? So they, can so they could say, oh, yeah, we made it ourselves. Um, I think there are some competitions who um, mm -hmm. are about the show only. So I had some customers who were like, oh, I want to have it for a contest. And I didn't ask further because... I don't actually care if they use it in America or so, and in the USA, it's far away from me. But um, I just hope they're honest with that. Okay, makes yeah. sense. Mm. And uh, for yourself, do you do uh, cosplays nowadays? Yes. Actually, do you that's, have time to, for that? That's quite an interesting question because most cosplay commissioners uh, who are whatever in which direction uh, belong to the commissioner business. Um, they work on commissions and at some point they are like, okay, I don't want to make costumes for myself anymore and they stop cosplaying themselves. That's really a thing. For me, it's like um, some years I just did not have the time at all, right? Because I worked so much, I was like, okay, I am too exhausted to make my own costumes and I don't have the time for that. But... Um, for cosplayers, often procrastination is a thing, right? And if you have um, to make commissions for your customers, um, the client orders something, I have to decide if we want to make it, mm -hmm. right? And um, maybe I would be too afraid, for example, to learn electronics for myself, but I have to make it for a customer. Mm -hmm. So I already earned that skill. And I really love to put that in my costumes then. And I am kind of have my revival of cosplay this year <laughs> because I now have finally the free time to make my own costumes. And we just moved our workshop and expanded it a lot. And it's next door to me now. So I can uh, put the client's work on the side and work on my own costumes. And I really enjoy it. And uh, while working on the client's costumes, I'm like, oh my God, I love this technique. I would love to make it for myself. Mm -hmm. Or I learn a skill for my own costumes and I'm like, okay, I wouldn't have the time to make that prototype for a client, but I already made it for myself. Now I know how to do it. Now I can do it in a specific amount of time for the client and he can pay it. So 
Actually, it's really good because you learn it for you, then it will yes. be easier to make it for you. And I don't have Make the good. yeah, I don't have the pressure to okay. He paid uh, I don't know like like hundred euros, and I have to make it in three hours or so. Uh, but I already can do it like yeah. electronics, and I'm like okay. Yeah, I can take all the time to learn it for myself and then and enjoy it really because it's still my passion, and then. I can do it for him. Yeah. And which fandoms do you like cosplaying nowadays? <laughs> uh, actually, um, I mean, I'm very Mononoke now, and yeah. that was kind of a dream cosplay of mine. I know it looks uh, a bit more simple, but we uh, took a lot of care. I took a lot of care of all the details, and um, a colleague helped me a bit <laughs> while working on it. That's why I uh, told you we. Um, but I made most of it and I really enjoyed it. And um, my actual um, yeah, kind of on-time fandom is Has Been Hotel. Uh -huh. mm, you heard of it. And I'm very deep in the Hellaverse fandom. I know it's not to everyone's taste, but I absolutely love it. And just working on a costume from it. And I have planned uh, a few more. So normally I'm not on the hype train, but this time I absolutely am. <laughs> and uh, after that, I hope I can do some uh, costumes, which will be a lot more complicated from my absolute uh, favorite franchise ever, and it's Warcraft. Mm -hmm. And so I have to go for the greatest wigs, the greatest armors, and this will take so much time, but I really look forward to it. We are looking forward to see it. Oh, thank you. And thanks for being with us today. And I hope you will enjoy the rest of the hours of MondoCon. Thank you so much. Thank I'm having you. a great time. Thank you and see you.